Hello all, David here again. Uh, it's the night before Halloween, so I thought I'd test a few of these electric devices, specifically the Jacob's Ladder. I had a Tesla coil I was trying to get operational, but uh, it exploded. I should have had a camera on for that. That would have been good. Uh, first things first, we're, we're messing with high voltage, so safety first. Eye protection, a must. If you've got some gloves, like these old lineman's gloves, that's a nice touch. You get a little sweaty at times, but that's okay. And you know, your lab coat. It's a little chilly out here, actually. Uh, camera for video evidence. Uh, what we have here is an old transformer from an old neon sign. This one is 15,000 volts. I also have a 9,000 volt one, which works just as well. These wires, I had been using copper, but honestly I've had better luck with simple hanger wires. Just take a hanger and undo them, sand it a little bit to get that weird coating, shellac coating off, and they work pretty well. And they're stiff enough that they won't flop around in the breeze quite so badly. This is about not quite three feet, and uh, they're separated by about half an inch down at the bottom, and maybe about two and a half, three inches up at the top with a tiny little bend near the top so that uh, it'll break the arc when it gets to the top because if you don't you don't want it to sit there the whole idea is that it goes bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. you gotta break that arc or it won't restart uh, here we have a heavy duty cable runs to an extension cord and we've got it on a foot pedal dead man switch also for safety. So, here we go. It took a few adjustments to get the uh, arcing just right. I had to close the gap to a little more than a quarter inch. And it gets down to about two and a half inches up at the top. It takes a bit of adjustment, so don't worry about having to do that, that's normal. But uh, the result is this. Now if you're using hanger wire, you can sand it, or you can uh, just let this arc burn off the uh, coating. You see it's going all the way up to the top. Can't get the cell phone much closer than this though because like a lot of other things of this nature it generates a, a significant electromagnetic field. Now unlike a lot of the other electronic devices you can actually leave this plugged in. Uh, I have set one up on top of a roof before and just left it plugged in for a few hours. The heat from the plasma that it creates is actually not too bad. These wires cool off very quickly. I mean, you don't want to touch them right afterward, but it's not bad enough to be too much of a hazard as long as you keep it far away. I mean, you see I have it on a brick in my backyard, uh, roughly eight feet from any house. Because these things are a fire hazard. That's plasma, that's superheated plasma that you see going up there. So, not to play with. This is one of those electric devices that if you touch these while they were energized, you would be super dead. Not just regular dead, that would, that would kill you good. This is not a Van de Graaff or a tiny Tesla coil you get off of eBay. That's 15,000 volts. 15,000 volts. Okay? One of these transformers 
even the 9,000 volt one that's more common will kill you. So don't play with it unless you re unless you're really trained in it. See, I've used this several times. I've been practicing my safety gear, glasses, and even a switch here for testing. And always, don't ever try to do this day of. For whatever you're doing, don't try to do it day of. Test it. At least a day, 24 hours in advance. You do have to be careful sometimes. These things are very heavy. And those bulbs on either end that the wires connect to are made of glass. They're glass insulators, like on a power line. So, yeah. These things are heavy, fragile, and dangerous. So don't play around. Well, you can play around this way. They also generally work a little bit better after you've left them on for a few minutes. Once the wires, once any coating on the wires is uh, burned off and they're heated up a little bit and the air between the wires is a little bit energized. And things like you saw right there where the spark stops, that's normal. Sometimes you'll get one that goes up slow. They're not going to be completely uniform unless you have it inside a glass tube and perfectly regulated. But those get pretty expensive. These transformers, you can get them on eBay. About 120, 150 bucks a piece. The 9,000 volt ones work just as well. Same setup, don't change a thing. The arc might be slightly smaller, but still pretty close to this. Uh, the shipping is going to be a bit. I wouldn't expect less than 40 for the shipping, probably closer to 50, so be aware of that. These little transformer. It's, big transformers will set you back a little bit so you might want to go if you've never done it before definitely go with one of those ZVS flyback transformer kits because this is not something that you want to just hop straight into I mean, it's a very simple setup way simpler than any other Van de Graaff Tesla coil or anything but it's way more deadly <laughs> I mean look at that art that's like two and a half inches right there of plasma so yeah this thing makes great decoration for Halloween if you have a safe enough place to put it and I highly recommend them it's just a cool little electric device if you can do them safely so stay safe and happy Halloween